everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to start sharing vlog posts with you. Basically, um, just vlog number one or week one of, uh, you know, where I work, what I do, pretty much where I'm at every day, where I create. This is my office space here. And so this is the back room and I'm actually holding the camera. The good thing about this space is that I have two rooms and so I was able to decorate it and design it the way that I really, really wanted. So I love the floors. I love the, the large windows um, that it has. So I'm going to walk over here. So this space here, again, is just really where um, I do everything. So if I choose to bring my laptop, then my laptop will go right here on the desk. This desktop calendar is pretty much where I list everything that I have to do, whether that is packaging orders, when there's launches, when I expect new products. Um, and you can see how this piece here, this is kind of what I use for creating content. So when I do my you know, reels and videos and I put stuff together, this is the piece that I use. This I purchased from Amazon. So it is in my Amazon storefront. I can link it below. Um, I also added this map over here. The map is pretty much of all of the customers that I um, have received over uh, probably since 2018. So I've sold to customers in every, um, every state and I also have um, 12 different countries that I sold um, products too. So that is really, really exciting for me, um, especially when you're a small business. And if you can relate and you are a small business, then I know that you can, you know, the passion that you have. So you're super excited when you are reaching other countries. I think that just says a lot when you get to that level and you're like, you know, you're reaching other countries and it's just an amazing feeling. I sold to people in Danish, Greenland, UK, just a lot of places. So I like looking at this. This is just really inspirational for me because it just, just keeps me going. So here, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can kind of see the whole visual. Now I shared my space with you guys before, and this is what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep it current and updated and updating you because I want you to see the progress. Some days are better than others. You know, some days I may be doing really, really well and there are days where it's not as great of a day. So you're struggling, you know, because when you're running a business by yourself, you're really just, and I do it by myself. I do have some people that I consult with, um, but everything really just comes down to me to ultimately make that decision. When it comes to creating, um, I have suppliers that I use um, overseas. And so I did my research and I continue to, depending on what the item is, you know, if it's maybe like these caddies here, then I was, I reached out and I found someone that can understand me, that is understanding what I'm looking for, and what I do is I create a sample, they send it to me, and that's how I usually go for the products. If the samples are not what I expect, then unfortunately I will not continue to get that product. So giving you another example, um, I have this acry acrylic sticky note holder. And so this is another sample that um, I had made. I took a one piece, I took a ruler and I basically just measured seven by seven and I did it myself with a piece of paper and I explained how I wanted it. I wanted it to be about three um, centimeters thick because I wanted it like a really thick quality. I didn't want something that was super flimsy. Um, so this is the sample that I got. I haven't exactly put in the order as of yet, but it's it's heading in that direction. So I'm still, I'm still trying to decide if I really want to add it. So this table is, I'm sorry, this desk is big enough for me to do the content creating. So basically I will take pictures here. Um, I will uh, video uh, record here. I do my, I'm sorry, I do my cash envelopes here and anything that has to do with money, I do it here. So 
Um, over to the left, um, this is my coffee bar. So this is pretty much where I keep all of like trash bags, accessories, cleaning supplies, and snacks. And over here, I always tell people to save your change, save your dollar bills. And up there is where I keep the, that's just extra dollar bills. And same goes for here. These are just extra dollar bills, but also change. And I continue to add to this on a weekly basis. So definitely worth it. So vlog number one is really, really just about showing you my space. Um, and explaining to you what I do. This space over here is where I actually print out the labels. Um, as you can see, there's two. And the reason why there's two is because one was at my house. I originally had my office at my house. And so I had the Dino, the Dymo label maker at the house. I decided I just didn't want a separate office. I didn't want to have two offices. I wanted everything to be here because everything's in one place. So I didn't want to have to like have one office in the house and one over here. Like it gets to be very confusing that way. So I redid the office space in my house and now it's like an extra bedroom, which my son is there. So, um, so that's why you see two of them. So I do, I print out labels. I will check emails here and everything else that I need to do. But I also, what I also do here is the cash envelopes. So I create the cash envelope labels um, and the silhouette, you can see it's on the desk. And so I pretty much will use this desk to do that type of work. Um, and then the packing slips, I use the larger printer, which is over here. This is the HP. So. I print the labels on one side, but I do print the packing slips over here on the other side. These two caddies, I actually use the one on the right. The one on the right is holding my um, budget planner that I use. It holds my cash envelopes, my sinking funds, calculator, things like that. And then this desk here, again, like I just explained, is more for just sitting. I write, I will write in my planner. I will write on the, um, the calendar and I basically will take pictures and things like that here and also I'll like my videos my videos are done here as well so this is a really a really big it's a really good size space so um as you can see you can see the holes in the window over there uh I have to get a um air, air conditioner so a little bit disappointed in that but it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. So, Hey, let's just turn around. Um, we're going to turn around. I'm going to show you the, um, office space in the other room. And that's where all the fun and exciting stuff goes because that's where I'm packaging. And that's where I, um, what do you call it? Prep all my stuff and, um, what are you stocking your supplies? And, um, there's a lot of, you wear a lot of hats. You wear a lot of hats when it comes to running your own business. So let's go ahead and turn around. Right, so here, I'm gonna back up a little bit more. Um, I've been here since October. This is nothing fancy. This is just really where I hold all of my supplies and also package orders. Even, you, you do have like the high ceilings. It's, it's nice. It's, an, it's a really nice space. Um, considering I'm just a small business, so it actually is like a really good size. I think that if I could, I guess I should have cleaned before I was doing this video. I think I could go a little bit bigger and really put all of my uh, boxes and storage stuff because I still, my basement is completely full of like all of my binders and I also have a storage unit. So I think if I had a one, one more room or had a little bit more room, then I can ultimately have everything here. But I had to do what works for me. So I'm going to show you this spot here. Okay. So um, this space here, uh, these two desks are called flexi spot desks. Okay. And there are two of them. And I have two of them in the middle um, of the room. I'm going to try to back up as much as I can. I need to put a trash bag there. I was just cleaning and I said, you know what? It's time for me to do a video. Um, so all of the, um, the stuff, everything that I do is done right here on top of this class. I basically used to do this when I was working out of my house. I was actually, I had this on my kitchen table. It was pretty much set up the same, um, way. 
Um, so this is extra stuff. This is things I use for packaging purposes. I put all of the um, packing um, supplies in the, the basket. I have this little stamp here. Um, so I pretty much just uh, pack all of the orders here. And then you can kind of look below here. This is where I, I kind of I grab the type of bags or boxes that I need, right? So we have the priority bags. I have all of my Christina Loves planning bags, the small bags, um, the black bags, the smaller bags. So they're all in here. So depending on what I need, it's in the drawer right there. Um, and then I just have like the medium flat rate. Then, then I have the larger bags. I have some bubble stuff. So I have this underneath. It's not like all pretty and fancy because at the end of the day, I'm packaging orders. Like I'm really, really busy, um, you know, trying to get the orders done. Uh, so let's take a look over here on the back wall. Let's see. The back wall has all of the planner bags. So I remember when I first started, I was pretty much doing like my crochet planner pouches and as I started to add more items to the website I wanted to incorporate bags because I don't know about you guys but I love bags so I was always like loving adding bags and then the one that I add right there that was like a smaller bag and I wanted to add the smaller bag so people could just put it on their desk and it wasn't like too big. Then we have the larger ones and the medium size and then we have now crossbody. So there's definitely um, a lot to choose from. Then if you keep on going down the row, um, this, this section here, these are all of the wallets. On top are the Adelina binders, but I didn't have so much space, so I had to make do. So all the Adelina binders are on top. Um, this row here is where I keep all of the cash binders, and I sold out of all of them, so that's why it's looking pretty empty. And so I, I actually have a ton of boxes. Um, they're being shipped right now, so they're on the way. And I do have a lot of the A5 covers, and then what we have on this side are the A5 covers as well as the pocket size. And then we have the, if you look at all of those like small pieces there that are on the shelf, that is for um, the 100 saving challenge binder, as well as the stuff here. Up here, my daughter left her Doritos uh, right there on the shelf. Um, and these are some items. I have to actually get rid of that box container on the bottom. This is for overflow of supplies. So we have, um, all of the packaging material is in here and just a small portion is over where I am sitting. This stuff just has to be put away. It's just like a lot of miscellaneous things that are just here. These are my, um, and then I just brought these. I have another 20 in the car. So what I want to do is open this up and lay them flat. I had just moved them out of the way. So I have to actually do that. And ultimately add them to the website but these are all of the desk mats that will be for sale okay now i'm gonna go back a little bit more and this corner here is where i had about 15 boxes i just got rid of a, like a ton of boxes that we had to cut up so all of this is actually going home the that one there this has to go that has to go these are my hulk and bags these are this is the these are the orders that i worked on today i leave the bags here very easy for transportation especially when you're um when you have uh, items in the car and stuff so definitely definitely helps um, and then i have another phone holder here you can see it so this is like different angles if you wanted to like you know if i'm trying to create a reel i just have all of those i have all of these boxes that i got out from the um storage unit so those also have to be put away, but there's never a dull moment here. And you you guys can imagine, like when you're doing things by yourself, you know there's a lot of work. So here, let's go back over here. This is an order. So this is an order and I set it aside because I was waiting to hear back from the customer and she, re she wrote back to me. So I just have to get a box and put it in. So when I'm, this is my hole puncher. These are the dashboards. And so pretty much I stand here and um, I go through the packing slip, depending on what it is. I go around, I grab what I need and I package it. But let's just say it's just something simple and it's maybe the dashboards. 
and they want holes. I'll stand right here, make the holes, and I walk over here again um, and package it up and make it look all pretty and stuff. Um, I have my thank you cards and I have the poly bags. These are the Christina Loves Planning bags, the zipper bags, but this is the larger one that goes for the budget bundle. Then I have the medium, I'm sorry, medium size, the smaller size, and the plastic bags are on the bottom and just like, there's just, all of it's just right here. Now, um, let me turn around. So let's, we're going to go on this side. Okay. So all of, all of these items here are all the items that I have in my shop. And I talked about that. So the thing is, is that I have to actually, um, I actually really need to fill a lot of things. For instance, my saving challenges are low. It looks like I have two of my dry eraser, uh, dry mar dry erase markers, and then those are the boxes. So I sell out of a lot of stuff very, very quickly, and so <laughs> it sometimes it just takes a lot of like trying to keep up. It's like ah, oh my god, I gotta go to the storage unit because that's where it's either in my basement or the storage unit, and that's where the bulk of the the bulk of the supplies will be. Um, like if it's a lot, not everything is there. I tried to keep it here. So we have our monthly pads. We have our, uh, our, cl our clip acrylic clipboards. Love them. Super. They're just really nice. Um, so all of the items are all here. And then you're going to see this ugly box here. But I didn't know where else to put it. This is another large box for um, maybe it, mainly for the caddies. So I found a really big, a really big bag to use to put the caddies in um and then we have our kids saving challenges we have t-shirts and notebooks and just all the supplies that you see on my website are all right here so i'm just going to go down a little bit um this section here also has to be updated but this is where i keep all of the budget planners so we have the linen we have all of these sizes here um which are the a5 disc a5 rings and your um personal size budget planner and dividers so yeah, it, it, it can be a lot when you're trying to remember to bring everything from the house, you know, to, to, to stock your shelves. Okay, now all of these here are all cash envelopes. I keep all of the cash envelopes here. And like I said, because it's winter time, it's been taking me a little bit longer to move the items that are in the basement um, to the shop because it, it's just me. Um, so again, this section here is another little small area for, um, for packaging. It, I don't stand here, but this is where extra stuff is kept. So we have extra stuff here and we have extra stuff in this here. Okay. So these are the peanuts. These are the padded um, priority bags. This is where I do my laminating when it comes to like the holiday binder. That's my brother's label maker. There's a scale. And then these are the smaller, you know, the smaller envelopes and extra padded envelopes. And they're all back there as well. You can see like there's the clear envelopes. There's just like a lot. So you never know. Um, but yeah, so I just keep all of the different the different uh the different cash envelopes they're they're all in here so we have uh the groceries like this is i have six totes at the house um that i have to add to all of this so all of all of my cash envelopes are kept here and then the smaller ones i keep over here in the store against I think I shared it with you guys before see all the drawers so some I'll just go over here and grab what I need if it's like the travel set and things like that now this over here is like I said this is the spot where I package everything and if you look at this here these are all of the stickers that I have in my shop so these are all of our stickers whether they're the monthly undated maybe they are the numbers um, these also have to be like we have to take pictures and add to the website because instead of one color, they are all three. These are the PR stickers that need to be, we have to take pictures. But but anyways, that's where I keep um, the stickers because it's easy if I'm standing here um, 
and I'm looking at a packing slip and somebody may have ordered like the dot stickers or maybe they ordered stickers for the, the linen planner and I can just simply grab it and I'm standing right here and I package it. So that's what I do. So everything does have its own spot. Um, currently, I just need to add, I just need to um, fill, fill the shelves the shelves that's that's what i have to do a lot of prepping goes prepping goes into um a lot of the items that i do like the holiday binder uh the saving challenges that have the two boxes so those look like they're selling pretty fast we actually have like about 30 that were done and um they do sell very very quickly and what else the holiday binder that's another one that has to be um updated as well because this one here you need the you need the um, the laminated outside where it ha where the, where it lists all of the holidays. So yeah, um, but yeah, and you can see how all of these sticky notes are getting like a little bit lowered. Uh, so yeah, lots of stuff that definitely needs to be added. Um, but here, let me turn around this way. I don't know if the light is making it look ugly, but um, so this is going to be vlog number one. Uh, next week, I could possibly show you how I package orders and just kind of show packaging or stocking shelves um, and, you know, actually content creating, uh, cash envelopes. Let's take a walk back over here because I'd like to show you guys um, a little bit about what I talked about during the week um, regarding my finances. So I was able to do a live on Saturday and what I did was I stuffed my cash envelopes and I want to show you. My goal is to get women to be and feel confident with their budgeting, right? So listen, I'm not here to say that you're gonna be a millionaire or cause I'm not either. But what I'm trying to say is that sometimes when you get organized, and you start using a budget planner, you start getting organized, you start using like your cash envelopes, you start to feel confident with what you're doing, listing out all of your bills, paying them when they need to be paid, and start using cash for just your groceries and gas. Start slow. If you feel confident and you wanna do all six um, that are in the envelopes, then you can do that. If you wanna to start to save for like your sinking funds, then do that. Don't let anyone discourage you Try to focus on what your goal is. Like, what is it that you want to do? Do you want to just get more organized with a budget planner? Do you want to use cash envelopes? You got this. And believe me when I tell you you got this because I was you and I was in that situation um, years ago. I was one of those people who waited for payday. And basically, my paycheck would be gone before I even got it. So living paycheck to paycheck is really, really not fun. So um, I don't stress now. I just really just focus on paying, um, uh, paying my bills and I use cash and that is how I stay ahead of the game. So let me show you how I do that. Okay, here, let me remove this. Okay, so what my goal is for you is uh, to come out with weekly videos. Um, I have so many people that are asking and who really, really enjoy the videos. Um, and I want to continue that um, as well. And I know that I get really busy and I really don't like using that word, you know, busy. Like it's just, I'm constantly saying that. So um, I want to be there for people. I want to inspire people and I want to help people. That's my goal, okay? Um, now, I can only do so much, but if you want to change, you have to be the one that wants to do it. So just ask yourself a few of these questions. What are some of the things that you want to do? Do you want to get more organized with your finances? Do you want to learn about cash envelopes? Um, you know, ask yourself these questions. Do you want to pay off credit cards? Do you want to create an emergency fund? So just start with these questions and just ask yourself because you need to have a plan need to have a plan put in place so you can start working towards your goals, right? Okay, these are the binders that I have in my shop as well. Everything, okay, I'm just gonna tell you straight up, everything that I use is in my shop, okay? So um, I did a live on Saturday and I stuffed my envelopes. The envelopes that I use 
are your basic envelopes, your groceries, household, eating out, gas, beauty, and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is such, is amazing. Think about this. Miscellaneous is for everything else that maybe is not here. So don't stress. It's an amazing, it's an amazing envelope, okay? I actually have $400 in my miscellaneous, and I like that because I don't go over. I also was able to create um, Target, Amazon, and Target because I like shopping there. I like shopping there. I don't want pe I don't want to, you know, if I get in the mood that I want to go shopping, I want to have the money when I at least have like 150 bucks because that's what I usually spend. But I want to have money when I am ready to spend it. Okay, so that's why I make those. But for the cash envelopes on Saturday, we did a live. So I just wanna go through, I'm not gonna go through everything, but I just kinda of wanna show you um, how much I have, okay? Because I have to actually go to the store after I'm done doing this video. So for groceries, we have 160. So I'm gonna be going to the grocery store after here because I need to get some little odds and ends. I put chicken in the crock pot. I'm very, like, I, I like to buy a lot of meat rice, vegetables. And what I do is I constantly use the crock pot. It will be your best friend. So 160 for groceries, household I have $30. Household is for like toilet paper, paper towels, and dish detergent, laundry detergent, trash bags, paper plates. Eating out, I have 40. Gas, oh by the way, I need to, I need to get gas. I have 50. Last time I filled up my gas tank, I used 40 bucks and it was perfect, but we'll see. Beauty, I have 20 because I just got my nails done. I cut them down and 20, I added 50 because I put I put the money over here, emergency, and there's like $400 in here. And I decided I was gonna put it in the bank, but it was actually here in the miscellaneous, but that's okay because now we have 50. So those are my envelopes. When I first started, I was awful. Okay, so I'm the type of person that I can relate with you. When I started, I gave up several times. Like, I'm telling you, do you guys go through your, like, planner and budgeting funks? Absolutely. We are human. It gets annoying. Same thing. Doing this. Worrying about money. Worrying about groceries. I, I, I um, I've always lived my life like that. So, uh, because I was able to get out of it miraculously, I worked really, really hard. I don't want other people to live like that because I know that things could be better for you. You have a checking account. You put all your money in your bank. You take your own, the only money that you're going to take out of your bank account is for your cash envelopes. And that is it. Easy peasy. That, that's it. You're not, you know, you don't have to make it more complicated. You take out the money for your cash envelopes and for your saving challenge binder or maybe your holiday binder, but that's all you're taking money out for, okay, guys? Make it easy. It's not difficult. And then what you should do is get a planner that you feel confident so you're writing everything out. Writing everything out is super helpful. So let's say, oh my God, I'm so behind. <gasps> that's right. We're in March. No way. Oh my goodness. I love this because I use all of these like little stickers that I have in my shop and they're so cute. Like these, I have all of these script words. I have um, expressions. This one says finances. They're like little, like there's a lot of, this one says bills. We have all these like really cute stickers. Um, we also have the number stickers. See how it's numbers and you don't have to write it out because I don't like my handwriting so I don't want to write it out. but. Um, speaking of that, oh my goodness, I have to do this. Uh oh, I better, I gotta take this home with me. So, get yourself a, a, um, a budget planner that you feel comfortable with, okay? Um, the planners that I have are on sale. So, if you get the linen, it's linen 30 to save. You're saving 30%. We have this color and we also have the black. But, you can get your little stickers, okay? And if you order, if you order the, the budget planner, um, I have the stickers. You get a pack of stickers for free, which look like this. You get one sheet of the numbers, this one, and what's the other one? Oh my God, I lost my train of thought. 
it's the other one that goes there's like a a three pack of oh it has the words so you can do february and then on this page you put the other one so there's two rows that say january through december and then you have like these little money things it's where you can put like when your bills are due and then you can list out all of the dates for this month and this one okay then you're going to list them out again and this these are the two pages that i love the most so set your set your budget planner up uh, this is using the highlighter method. Just start start writing in your budget planner and set it up. That should be a really fun thing to do. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take this with me. Oh man, did I take, oh, I think I have the stickers in the other one. Um, let me grab, for some reason, oh, I must have put them in here when I did a video. Yeah. Yep, oh, here they are. Oh my God. Like if you don't like the linen, maybe you don't like the linen um, budget planner. We have dividers that say January through December and you can actually get this, the same inserts that are in this one here. Let me move it out of the way. The same inserts that are in this beautiful budget planner, we have the printed version. So like maybe you are an A5 rings, we have that. And this is the month same thing so it's the same thing as the coil it's the same thing as the coil it's just not there's just no coil. i'm sorry it's the same thing as the linen but it's it's just a printed version so you can use it for like your rings and then you have all your pages i love it so there's a lot of ways and options that you can actually use so we have the linen planner, which you just saw. We have the A5 rings, we have discs, and we have personal size. So there's a lot of options, okay? But I'm currently using the linen, and so I'm just gonna stick to that because I don't wanna like jump around. I guess I should maybe test out other things to show people, but that's okay. Right. So what I'm gonna do is these are my stickers. These are the bill due, these are the words, expressions. This one says like payday. And then you get a sheet of the monthly numbers. See? And you get this one as well. And then you get one of these. So I'm just going to put this in the back in my pocket so I can set up the month of March. All right. I'll take that with me. Okay. So basically, I just wanted to show you guys that. So that'll be it for now. Um, today was like just vlog, you know, vlog number one. And I kind of incorporated me. Um, talking about my cash envelopes and you know setting up setting up your budget planner and starting to set yourself up so you can feel confident you can feel good about with what you're doing um now what we can talk about in vlog number two is maybe the supplies so what i'm trying to gauge at and please leave a comment below is what are your thoughts what are you looking for um uh, from me what would you like me to talk about if you're looking for maybe a consultation, go to the Instagram page. You can sign up right there. Anyone who signs up for a consultation gets, gets a free planner and the PDF. I haven't, I don't think I attached the PDF yet, as of yet because I'm still adding. There's a PDF that I created and I try to just be like, you know, talk about my past, like is money related to how we grow up? Um, and just a little bit of my system. So I want, I want you guys to see that, but I'm still working on it. I'm still, I'm still trying to see if I should add more or not. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. So with you guys' support. So let me know. Um, I don't know if I should just be adding more or, or if I should just leave it the way that it is. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, guys, I don't want this super long. I just wanted this to be a fun, like vlog week number one. Um, the goal is to do two to three videos per week on different aspects and they maybe the videos might not even be that long um, but also incorporating budgeting and listen guys don't feel bad if you get into that funk because we all do it's okay if you get into that funk put your stuff away give yourself a couple days you know we all have to pay bills that's the thing about budgeting it never goes away 
okay it's it's we always have to pay bills we always have to make sure we're being responsible and we have money in our checking account we're saving and we're doing the right thing because you can get paid all day long and if you don't do the right thing with your money and you don't tell it where where to go you're going to you know maybe do the wrong thing and that's why you're not like as happy and stuff things go wrong you're not paying your bills or you're spending too much you know what i mean trying to give an example so try to do the right thing try to just you know if you're in that planner that budgeting funk it's okay i totally get it uh let me know below if you ever get into your planner funks let me know below what are you looking for and um do you agree with a budget planner and your cash envelopes at least starting there you can add stuff later but um start somewhere start at least one or the other and start to jump in and, and take control of your finances all right guys i hope you have a wonderful afternoon i am going to um upload this video for you if you have any questions let me know and say hello below please subscribe it's going to help me so much if you do um and check out my website at christinalipsplanning.com bye